Hey everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel, it's Ray Lord. As for the plan, today we're going to be discussing another poetry from the class 9 syllabus, which is called Nine Gold Medals, written by David Roth. Well, it's actually a song based on a real incident. There was a special Olympics for different, for disabled people, for differently able people. We should, we should say it that way. It was, so the final race was going on. And in that race, there were like nine racers of different label. And the moment races started, the the very younger, the youngest one, he just fell down. And all of the racers, instead of running and reaching towards the finish line, they stopped. And they came back and they helped that guy who fell down, helped that guy to stand up or to get on his own. And they all took hand in hands, all those nine racers. And they then happily, merrily, and lovingly walked towards the finishing line. So it was not merely uh, so. At the end of the uh, of the of the poem, it was not merely a race, but it was a you know presentation of brotherhood and universality and humanity. It, it turned into from a race from a competition to cooperation. Well, the online applications and online investigations they say that. It happened, but not all of the racers are stopped. There were certain three, two or three racers who stopped and held them and went and walked towards the finish line with him. But the rest of them, they were running. Well, that's a different story. But here we are concerned about the poem, which is written here, and which is in the syllabus. So without wasting any more time, I believe we should be just beginning with the poem. So here it is. Nine gold medals written by David Roth. The athletes had come from so many countries to run for the gold and the silver and bronze. Many weeks and months in training, all building up to the games. It's very simple we can understand that the athletes who came from very many different countries, obviously, it's an Olympic, Olympic, a special Olympics. So all the contestants, they came from different parts of the world to run for the gold and silver and bronze. Obviously, there are three prizes. The first prize, the second prize, and the third prize. The first one gets the gold, the second one gets the silver, and the third one gets the bronze. So they were competing for that, to secure these top three positions, especially for the gold, and then the silver, and then the bronze. They trained themselves so hard for many weeks and months in training, all building up to the games. Moving on towards the next sense of all around the field, the spectators were gathered, cheering on athletes, young women and men. Then the final event of the day was approaching, the last race about to begin. So, obviously, it's just like the poet is trying to create the whole environment of Olympics, where the audience were gathering the ground and they just gathered the ground and they were cheering and shouting and giving slogans all the men and women and full of excitement that oh my god the race is just about to begin and the final even came now the final race came now the last race was about to begin moving up towards the third stanza the loudspeakers called out the names of the runners the 100 meters the race to be run and nine young athletes stood there determined and poised for the sound of the gun. Obviously, the race begins with the sound of the gun, of the pistol. And when they hear the sound, they start running. So it was like loudspeakers were there and the names of all of the runners were announced that, okay, these are the contestants who were running, who were running in the, in the race. And it was a 100 meter race. And there were nine contestants, nine athletes to run in the race. And they all were eagerly waiting for that sound that, so that they should hear and start running and just get to that finish line very uh, and secure the very first position. Moving on towards the end of the stanza, the signal was given, the pistol exploded, and so did the runners on hearing the sound. But the youngest among the but the youngest among them stumbled and staggered, and he fell on his knees to the ground. The pistol exploded, they heard the sound, they all started running, but what happened? All of a sudden, the youngest one, the youngest contestant, contestant, the youngest athlete, the youngest runner, he just fell down. Somehow he stumbled and staggered and just fell down the ground. What happened then is more interesting. He fell on his knees to the ground. Let's see what happens. Another stanza, he gave out a cry of frustration and anguish. 
his dreams and his efforts dashed in the dirt. But as sure as I am standing here telling the story, now it's a strange one, but here's what occurred. So obviously, when you have when you've been training for years and for months and for weeks to, to get into that race, and if you are not even able to win it, then at least complete it like a like like in a proper way. And what all of a sudden you fell down, you, you fall down. You, you lose all the hopes of winning a race. All those dreams and all that hard work, it seems to be just diminishing in the dirt like a sand. Just moving away. It seems like that. So he just gave a cry of frustration and anguish. Oh my God, I fell down. His dreams and his efforts dashed in the dirt. But now the poet says, the writer says, but as sure as I am standing here to tell the, tell the story, I'm telling you the story, now it's a strange one. Now, no, that, is, that was really a you know, shocking sort of an incident. But here comes the strangest one. What's that? Let's see. But here's what occurred. The next stanza. The eight other athletes, athlete, the eight other athletes stopped in their tracks. The ones who had trained for so long to complete and compete. Sorry, the ones who had trained for so long to compete. One by one, they turned round and came back to help him and lifted the lad to his to his feet. Now the most shocking thing would happen after the youngest athlete fall down and he gave a cry of frustration. Oh my god, I just fell down. My dreams is just scattered away. All of the other eight athletes who were just, you know, just moving towards the, the finishing line, they just stopped, paused, and looked back. He has fallen down. So they stopped and they moved back one by one or in some of the other. They came back, they helped that athlete to stand up, they held his hand, and let's see what happened. Then all nine runners joined hands and continued. The 100 meters reduced to a walk. And the banner above that said Special Olympics could not have been nearer the mark. That's a very beautiful part of the poem. All the nine runners, they held, they, they hold each other's hand like this and they all walked towards the finishing line. So the 100 meter race, the competition, that turned into a walk of merrymaking. The competition turned into cooperation, collaboration, love and affection, brotherhood, humanity. And the banner which was written there, which said Special Olympics. This couldn't have been more special. That Special Olympics was, was for the ones who are disabled. You know, differently able people, but here yeah, the meaning totally changed and it was like, it was a really special Olympics. It's really special Olympics. So he said that this couldn't have been more better, this name couldn't have been more better than this scene, which was really very special and which made this whole Olympics really very special. And I'm moving on towards the very last sense of the poem. That's how the race ended with nine gold medals. They came to the finish line holding hands still and the banner above and nine smiling faces said more than these words ever will said more than these words ever will but this the point ends by saying that they reached to the finish line they re all of the nine racers they received the gold medal not for their competition, but for their co cooperation. Not for a race, but for humanity. And he said that there was a banner written Special Olympics and there were nine smiling faces. Such a good moment, such a overwhelming moment, such a hurtly warm moment. And he said that it was so good, it was so special that moment and to see it, it was so it was so special that he cannot the writer he cannot just write these things in his words. The poem still remains incomplete. The poem still cannot explain the whole thing, that emotion and that goodness. And with that he ended the poetry. So 
the message what we are getting is that life is not always about competition and a cutthroat race. It is also about brotherhood. It is also about humanity. It is also about love. It is also about affection. And this part of the life, the love, affection, humanity, brotherhood, this part of the life, as I believe, and I think we all should believe, is very, very, very much more greater than that part of the life where it is competition, where there are cutthroat races, oh, you have to keep on running and all of that. So it's all necessary. But apart from that, there is humanity, which is very, very, very important. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen, for being such a patient listener. Hope this video helps you in your examinations and your knowledge and all that stuff. And stay tuned for some more amazing Friday thoughts. And obviously, with this poetry, we have completed, alhamdulillah, we have completed all the 10 poems of class 9 syllabus. So now, in future days, uh, we would be taking up the class 10 poems and then so on, inshallah. Thank you very much for being such a patient listener. Love you all. Bye-bye.